You're watching Traders Calendar on the InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Nidachina. Early next week, your eyes will be turned to the following market movers. And Monday data on non manufacturing PMI for June will be published in the United States. According to the forecast, the indicator rose to the level of 56 points. In May, PMI in the United States service sector turned out to be the lowest in this year. According to the data from the ISM, the indicator declined to 55.7 points from 57.8 points in April. Analysts uh, had expected a drop to 57 points. This indicator reflects the state of business activity in the service sector that forms about 90% of the US GDP. The level of 50 points uh, divides a contraction from growth. If the reading is above 50 points, it indicates uh, the development of the sector. On Tuesday, the Reserve Bank of Australia will announce its decision on the key interest rate for July. Most analysts expect that the benchmark interest rate will be unchanged at 2%. In June, the RBA also kept the benchmark interest rate unchanged at its lowest level of 2% after a cut by open 25 points in May. This decision was expected by most analysts. In February, the RBA also cut the key interest rate by 25 basis points. The main aim of the RBA officials is to lower the Australian dollar price. This seems desirable and necessary, especially amid falling prices of raw materials. Also, May data on the United States trade balance will be released on Tuesday. According to the preliminary estimation, the trade deficit widened to $42.1 billion. In April, the U.S. trade deficit narrowed by 19.2% after reaching the highest level in the previous months. The trade deficit amounted to $40.9 billion from $50.6 billion. Analysts had expected a $43.5 million deficit. Sharp changes in inputs were looked in March and April. The situation was provoked by a strike of the dock workers on the west coast of the U.S., which led to disruption to goods supplies. Moreover, the following economic statistics will be released at the beginning of the week. On Monday in Canada, the PMI data will be published by IB Business School. On Tuesday, data on the unemployment rate will be revealed in Switzerland. In Germany and Great Britain, report on the industrial production will be disclosed this day. The trade balance data will see the light of the day in Canada. On Wednesday, several statistical reports will be on top in Japan. Also, this day, the building permits data will be released in Canada and the FOMC meeting minutes will be published in the United States. It was Traders Calendar on InstaForex TV channel. Have a nice trading!